So good morning and um, welcome to our year three welcome meeting um, just to let you know we are recording it so we can put it on the website so if anybody can't get in or doesn't make it they can re-watch this so if you'd rather have your camera off that's absolutely fine um, we if you can we've put you on mute for now um, but at, if you've got any questions, if you could type them into the chat and then at the end, we'll look at the questions, answer any that you've got. And then you will allow you to unmute, unmute yourselves and ask any extra questions that we don't cover. So should we start? Go? Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> OK, so I'm Mrs. Hall and I teach antelopes. Um, and I have Mrs. Averson with me and Mrs. Miller works a lot in my class, but will also be working with some of the children in the other classes as well. I'm Mrs. Rogan and I teach in giraffes class and I also have Mrs. Johnston with me. Uh, and I'm Ms. Armstrong. Um, I am zebra teacher. I've just moved up from year three to year one. So I know some of you know me. Hi. Um, and we've got Mrs. Trainer in with us as our teaching assistant. I'm sorry. <laughs> OK, so our structure of the day looks like this. We have um, when the children come in in the morning, 8.35, we start with um, arithmetic and handwriting, which will normally be on the board for them as they come in. Um, and then we take the register. Uh, we then start our phonics, which is our sounds right scheme, which the children are really familiar with. Um, then on to English and whole class reading, which are usually linked together. Um, then we have assembly on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, we might have story time or something like that during that time. Um, then playtime, which is later this year for year three. So they are getting used to that as a bit of yeah, a, they are, a, a, a change wait. for them. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then um, maths before lunch. And then after lunch, we have um, two foundation subjects, which will be different every day. And then 3.15 is end of the day. Sorry. Um, so our curriculum is much the same as you'll all be familiar with. So obviously we have English, Math and Science, which are our core subjects, PE twice a week. And then all the foundation subjects are the same, apart from the addition of French, which I'm really excited to teach this year. <laughs> um, so it will be art, music, geography, history, RE, computing, DT and French. So opening world, you may have heard about the children had, I think, summer two, they had a history topic that was taught through opening worlds. And it's basically a program we use starting at the end of year two and across all of Key Stage two, which teaches history, geography and RE. Um, I mean, we love teaching it. It's don't we? fantastic. It's yeah. so it's in so it says there it's knowledge rich and ambitious. It's all vocabulary based. So we have word lists on the board that we add to and we go over. There's retrieval built in um, at the beginning of each lesson to remember what they learned in the last lesson. And it links the three subjects together. So what they're learning in history refers to what they're learning in geography and also in RE. Um, we've done a lot of training sort of as a staff to um, deliver this program and it really it really does work I think I mean I, this is the third year that I've taught it in year three and when you look at the content you kind of think oh it's quite it's quite high like quite mm -hmm. ambitious yes. but they do get it the way that it's sort of built into the program that so they have we have the slides the powerpoint and we'll go through a little bit of work together and then they have little tasks to do sort of interspersed across the lesson um and they have you can see there that where it says ancient egypt that's there's a lovely booklet it's a reading booklet so it really fits in with the way that we teach whole class reading in year two uh year in key stage two as well um and yeah, so that what that will be new for the children. So they will be coming home and telling you all these amazing facts and you'll be wondering where they got them from. And it's from this this program that that we're using. Oh, it's amazing. We've already learned about tributaries and all sorts. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's brilliant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. OK, so the topics that we cover, which are through the opening worlds, are um, this. Um, so I'm just going to move that out. I can't move it. Just there we go. That's it. Um, in. 
Uh, this term, we are doing ancient e Egypt, rivers, and the story of Rama and Sita, which is under Hindu stories. And then next term, we do cradles of civilization, which is ancient Mesopotamia. And we look at mountains and then more Hindu stories. And spring one, um, it, it's, it's, and it, you can see how it links together in Indus Valley civilization, settlements and cities, and then more Hindu stories. And then as we go into spring two, we come into looking at ancient Persia and Greece, and then... Um, agriculture and volcanoes, climates and biomes, and then Judaism across the whole term, but looking at different stories each half term. Um, so again, much the same as you've probably seen across the school so far, we do organise different spark days and different educational visits across the year to support our learning and to get the children really excited about what we're learning. Um, so you might have already heard that we've had an artefact box from Chertsey Museum. That was amazing. It had lots of like, miniature models of canopic jars and things that we looked at and we sketched. We've also got a few trips planned this year. So planning to go to the Hindu temple uh, later on in the autumn term. We also go to the British Museum museum in spring we are planning to organize a theater group to come in to talk to us about Greece we've got a geology workshop planned and then towards the end of the year there is a birds of prey experience um, and on top of that we also have high ash house which is an outdoor activity day that we do in summer as well and each class has um, a mini olympics which i think they've they've done in key stage one as well yes, where we go over to Cleves and they compete against other um, year three classes from other schools so we do that separately so I think yours is going to be first, we're isn't first. It? you're in we're autumn term we're spring and I'm summer yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so PPA time planning preparation and assessment um, we all get released for that and in year three ours will be on a Thursday afternoon this year um, so on Thursday afternoons your children will be taught by well antelopes will be Mrs Averson um, so they're familiar with her. She's going to be doing music and PE. Giraffes are going to be taught by Mr. Carlo and she's going to be doing music and computing. And zebras will have Mrs. Askew, who is also doing music and PE. Mm -hmm. OK, so homework um, and reading. So we ask that you read with your child on a daily basis. Um, we know how important it is to read as it's the foundation of all our studies within school um, and we ask that if you can continue to do that it will help your children's understanding and comprehension because we have so many reading activities throughout the school um, we check the reading records on a daily basis um, we've also said to the children that now that they're in key stage two they can write in the books themselves so you can check that they've done that but on a daily basis they can do that themselves as well um, and homework we will give out on Wednesdays each week and ask for it to come back on a Monday. There's two booklets. One of them is SPAG, which is close to what we're teaching in the curriculum um, in that half term. And then maths is times tables. Um, the inside the reading record will be the login for the TT Rockstars, which is practicing times tables. Um, and we mark the homework books on a Tuesday, do we all do the same day? Yeah, yeah. Um, and we're hoping to, that will, won't go out today, but next Wednesday, we will start that. If and there's any um, problems with homework, then just, if you just let us know, but it, the homework shouldn't be taking hours and hours and hours. No. There'll be a note in the front of the SPAG book that will set out sort of the expectations, because mm -hmm. obviously for some children, they'll find, they might find it easier than others. Um, so any problems just let us know and it also you'll have a grid with the dates for what you what pages you need to do each week and we just ask that you don't go ahead because we may not have taught that in class just yet um okay so expectations um as always attendance um we think it's obviously really important we want your children to be at school as much as possible unless they're unwell obviously um but at school we're expecting attendance to be higher than 96 percent um, uniform is, I think, very similar to Key Stage 1, apart from um, the different ties. So, again, shirts, trousers, skirts, tights, jumpers, as usual, um, and PE kits on PE days. Um, just please rem be remembered, please remember, that um, we don't permit jewellery, including earrings. If they do have their ears pierced, you can get the plastic spacers to put in them. Um, please no large hair accessories, big bows, cat ears things like that, um, and no dyed hair or shave sections. And then, as said already, please make sure child wears, your child wears PE kit to school. PE for antelopes and zebras is Wednesday and Thursday, 
and then for giraffes it's tuesday and friday there should have been an email i think about i yes. think they all got my, i think zebra has got an email saying tuesday and friday so oh. it is wednesday and thursday for us <laughs> So Groven's values, um, you're probably familiar with these because they're the same throughout the school. So those are our six values on the screen there. And we focus on one every half term. So we're doing kindness this half term. They have an assembly, they have a little activity in class and there'll be a display at the front of the school as well. Um, we Our reward system is that we have values tokens. So if they are... Um, seen keeping one of those values they may be given a values token which goes towards their team um, for the end of term and then there's some kind of reward I think for the team that's got the most um, and also we send praise cards so you may get a little postcard home um, usually at the end of a half term but it might be in in the middle if we're super organized <laughs> um, just to to, just to let you know something that we've noticed that your child has done that's really, really good. So we've talked about these values last week, actually, um, and they've all made a set of promises like class rules to show how they can promote these values. And they've all agreed to it. Mm -hmm. So hopefully it. We, all, yep. Yep, we all stick to it. Mm -hmm. OK, so linking to that is our behaviour system. You can see here the coloured houses, um, but you, Sycamore, Chestnut and Bert, um, hopefully unless we've got any new children they should all know what house they're in if you don't know please let us know and we can um, let you know um so they will receive values tokens based on that house um and collect them as we said and then they get a special treat at the end and obviously this is linked to sports day as well at the end of the year they'll wear their colored t-shirt um that's linked to that um so if any concerns across the year if one of your children is worried about anything then we really encourage them to either talk to you or talk to us um we are obviously the first port of call any of us three or any of the teaching assistants they're familiar with um that you can also always write us a note or they can write us a note to a trusted adult that we can then talk to them about if you as parents have any concerns your first port of call should be your class teacher so please come and speak to us we're always around at the end of the day um, or if it's me, I'm at the door at the beginning of the day. Yeah, me too. Oh, perfect. You've just yeah, got a different I've door. I've just got to go upstairs. <laughs> um, if it hasn't been resolved by one of us or you still have a concern, then please speak to your phase leader, which is Mrs. Which is Hall. <laughs> so if it's my, if you're um, a parent in my class, obviously I'm the first and the second step. So if you don't get a, um, if your problem doesn't get resolved, that's when you then go to somebody on the SLT, which is um, Mrs. Coleman. Mr. Tuck, uh, Mrs. Anning, maybe. Yeah. 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 Miss Curtin. Miss Curtin, Mr. Kempton. Yeah. Um, and if you have any queries um, that the office staff can answer or can help you with, um, then please just email info at grovelands.surrey.sch.uk and put it as FAO um, to the class teacher or the relevant person. So they'll forward that over onto us. Yeah. Yeah. So parents evenings, we have one in the autumn term, normally in October or November, mm -hmm. and then one in the spring term around February or March. So you will be receiving um, so an email about that at some point. We've got the you sign up on the um, online system. The, it's a parent portal, I think. So all of those instructions will be sent out at the time. Um, and then parents' evenings are in person. So you come up to school at your time, you get a chance to look at their books and we'll tell you how they're getting on. You can ask any questions. Um, and if you've got a child who is on the SEN register, you will also get invited to a pupil passport meeting every term. So every time we rewrite, every time we, we rewrite the pupil passports, you can come in and have a look at their targets. We agree the targets and then that will be their new pupil passport. Okay, um, any questions? If you think that um, any questions you've got that apply to the whole year group, then um, please go ahead, put them in chat or um, unmute yourself. But if you've got anything specific to your child, then come and talk to one of us when you can. So I can see oh, that there's chat, one. Chat. Where's it gone? There we go. Um, so times tables, what are they learning? So yeah, in year two, it was two, five and 10. And then we introduced threes, threes, fours and eights. Three, four, so eight. threes, I think they start in year two and, oh, then, and then we introduce fours and eights. So by the end of year three, they need to know two, five, 10, three, four, eight. Obviously, if they know those, then go for it with the others. Mm -hmm. 
um, ready for year four because they have a times table check at the end of year four. Mm -hmm. Um, but those are the ones that we focus on and specifically teach. Yeah. And if you're on TT Rockstars and you find that um, your child is finding it too difficult or you're thinking, oh, there's too many times tables for them, please let us know because we can set the tables manually. So if they're really struggling with sixes and it's demotivating them, let us know and we can take it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can group them and set yeah. the times yeah. table. So once we get to know them a bit more, we'll, we'll, we will do that. Mm -hmm. But obviously, if they want to try now, then they can have a go. But it is just open now. They've all got everything. Yeah. Um, so that might be quite tricky. Will they yeah. get a new password for the Chrome logins? Yeah, yes. so we reset new passwords um, at the beginning of the year. We'll be doing that in our computing lessons. At some point. At some point. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Anything else? Any other questions? Nope. Oh. If you don't, oh, for TT Rockstars, if you don't use TT devices. Rockstars, can be downloaded as an app, so you can use it on your phone or a tablet if you wanted to. If not, there are opportunities in school that sometimes we have Chromebooks or we'll get iPads and they can do it in school as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think that's all it. right. I think that's yeah. it. Yeah. Thank you okay. all for attending. Um, see you this afternoon. Yeah, thank <laughs> you so much. Thank you. Winning. I need to stop recording first, do I? Yeah. Yeah.